Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics back again with another video tutorial. This time we're going to play around in Photoshop to recreate the cool duotone photo effect that's most famously recognised from the recent Spotify rebranding, but I've also seen it used elsewhere around the web to create really vibrant images. This effect is really quite simple with just a gradient map doing most of the work, but I'll take you through a bunch of steps to help you get the best results. The key to this effect is finding two colours that perfectly complement each other, so I've included a Photoshop action that will apply a bunch of colour combinations for you to choose from down in the description area below. So this duo tone photo effect works with any image, but photos of people work best to replicate how Spotify uses this style on the artist and band shots. So find yourself an image and open it up in Adobe Photoshop. Select the pen tool and zoom right into the document, then begin tracing around the subject so we can remove it from the background. Or alternatively, you could always choose an isolated image to begin with. There's a few different techniques you can use to cut out your images, so I'll also link up my ultimate guide to cutting stuff out down in the description. You might find a different technique to the pen tool works better for your chosen photo. Once you've made a path around your image, right click and choose make selection, enter 2 pixels which could be less depending on the scale of your document to blur the edges slightly and avoid getting a harsh cutout. Go to edit and copy then edit and paste to move this clipping onto its own layer, then add a new layer and place it between the portrait and the original background, fill this layer with white. Add a gradient map adjustment layer and move it to the top of the layer stack then edit the colours for the shadows and highlights. I'm using the colours 24206A and 73D970, but you can find loads more combinations in that free Photoshop action that I've created. Move the gradient slider left and right to balance between these two colours, then hit OK to apply the effect. Add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer, then move the contrast slider to around plus 30. That's the basic photo effect complete, but we can add a few more extra little details to really give it that Spotify style. So create a new layer, then grab the ellipse tool and draw a few white circles over the image. Hold the command or control key, then click on the layer thumbnail of the cutout portrait layer to load its selection. Then add a layer mask to the circles layer to clip them to size. Draw a selection over one of the circles and fill the mask with white to remove the masking from this area to allow the circle to sit on top. And that finishes off the Spotify style duo tone photo effect in Photoshop, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button to help spread the word and share the video with your friends. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website at spoon.graphics. Also let me know if you want to see more short but effective tutorials like this, or if you're more a fan of those slightly longer, more detailed tutorials that I've done so far on my channel. Remember to try out my free action below to test out other vibrant colour combinations and feel free to send me your results on Twitter to at Chris Spooner. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.